Scorpio, I want you to know that you are doing absolutely amazing. We know that you're doing everything in your power to make it work. And for that, we appreciate it. There's nothing that you're doing wrong right now or that you've done that will mess a certain situation up. It's only supposed to and needs to progress in the way it's currently progressing so that both parties, both people, both versions of you inside can move forward and be aligned with your true natures, with each of your true natures. And in doing so, use those true natures in order to serve people better here on this planet. So we appreciate what you're doing. Keep going. And without further ado, let's get into your Twin Flame Tarot reading. Scorpio, welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's an honor to have you here. My name is Brandon Tobias. I'm an intuitive guide, astrologer, and psychic medium, and I'm here to help you unite with your divine counterpart or deepen the connection that you already have with them in order to change the world and live out our true life purposes. So welcome. Be sure to subscribe if you want more content just like this. There will be an extended reading uh, with your person's perspective at the end of this video. And if you want to work with me in any capacity, check out my website, brandontobias.com. Now, without further ado, let's get right into your Twin Flame reading for mid-August 2022. Scorpio, you may feel like you're having to fight to stay above water. It may feel like nothing you do at this moment in time is enough. It may feel like you are struggling just to be seen or to be heard or to be the version of you that really can connect with people or is able to connect together in a situation. You may feel like everything you're doing is not enough. That's where it's coming from. Okay, If you feel like this, Scorpio, I can assure you that everything you do is enough. It just may seem like that because of a fear or a concern that you have deep inside. Sun card with the Knight of Wands with the Eight of Cups. Now, this is a response that you might have that might make you want to run away or to move into a different situation or to find yourself on a new path. Okay away from something that might may be making you feel inferior deep inside. And what I can say about this is that might just be a fear response as opposed to where your soul actually wants to take you. In reality, the situation you're in is helping to make you more wise, more strong, more grounded, more happy, okay, more faithful in the divine and in general in yourself and in the universe and more powerful. Okay, it's only a shadow part of you that would say that I might be better off in a different path or alone or with something or someone else that doesn't make me feel so unsure of myself. Okay, the true reality is if something in your life is making you feel unsure of yourself, that feeling was already planted deep inside of there, just needed to come out to the surface. And this person or situation is helping you to realize that helping you to see what was truly making you feel unsure the entire time or for your entire life. Also, unearthing that particular feeling inside will help you in all aspects of life, whether that's career or your life purpose or making money and anything that you want to do in your personal life. Okay, so keep going. Don't give up. Don't give up. I know it's tough sometimes and I know it's hard to surrender. Okay to circumstances that are difficult because they're making us grow and us align with the higher version of ourselves. There's a reason growing pains as a term exists. It's never fun to go through, but I promise you it's worth the journey. Six of Cups with the Magician card. Feeling and realizing those deep feelings inside and aligning with those deep feelings inside of you, the feelings that you have and had through and because of childhood. Okay, the hopes, the wishes, the dreams, the true feelings of how you really are, what you're really meant for, what you really want deep down from childhood will help to empower you at this time. Chances are when you were young and growing up, there was something or someone who tried to push you down, who tried to make you doubt that you were powerful beyond all belief, who tried to make you feel like you were less than because the person that was making you feel like that felt less than themselves. And because of that, there might have been a shield that said it's better to move towards a different path or to be on my own or to a different different situation because I can't stand to be around this person or situation anymore. So at this time, the opposite is true. It's feeling into the truth of how you really feel and those feelings that will bring you the most empowerment at this time and help you to move forward and find your true alignment and find your true path to help you to move forward. Some of you guys, this might be happening within a divine union, that within an actual 
twin flame or divine counterpart or soulmate relationship, whatever it is you identify it as on a spiritual level. Some of you guys, it may be happening in work life. It may be happening with family. It may be happening just, you know, as you are single. And that's okay. Seven of Cups, the Fool, the Page of Wands. Spirit wants to invite you into the mystery of it all. Okay. Full card here with the Seven of Cups. It may feel like there's a lot of realizations, a lot of downloads, a lot of kind of 5D or astral truths being revealed to you at this time. And you're kind of unsure. It's like, man, am I really ready to jump into all of that? Is that really something that I want to go towards? Is that really something that's for me? Am I really ready to open my heart, my mind, my soul to this other reality? Okay, Seven of Cups here This and Sun card. Shine a light on this other reality that comes from a different dimension or comes from the subconscious mind, right? The 12th house in astrology, Pisces energy. Am I really ready to take a leap of faith and trust my intuition in this particular journey? When in the past, when I've trusted my intuition, where I've trusted my inner child to guide the way, things and people and situations have let me down. When I've been my true self around other people or even just with myself, that has let me down. Nine of Pentacles with the Moon card. Okay. So it is easier to just pursue the solo life, right? The solo existence here. Nine of Pentacles with the Moon card. It is easier to find empowerment when there's no pressure to change who you are or to shift into a different way of being. And in fact, that might be something you're thinking or feeling inside is that, well, if anything wants me to change myself into something different, it's not a good thing. But that's not necessarily the case because, you know, the butterfly or the caterpillar doesn't necessarily say to nature that because it wants me to change or to evolve into something else that it's a bad thing. The caterpillar simply accepts that nature wants it to change or to evolve into something completely different, but something maybe better, maybe even more advanced than what it was or has new capabilities than what it had before. It's the same thing that you might be experiencing here, Scorpio. Just because something in nature or around you or externally, whether it's your relationship, whether it's people, whether it's work, whether it's business wants you to change, that doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. It just means that there's a better more evolved and advanced version of you that wants and is ready to come out to the surface. Are you ready to embrace that decision? Devil card with the two of swords, queen of wands, 10 of swords and the king of cups here. So it does appear in your mind, right? Your mind's eye that there may be a difficult decision to make. Okay. Cause you may be at a crossroads when it comes to ending a particular situation. You may be right. Nothing, Outside of you, you may be at a crossroads. Oh, should I end this particular situation because of what I may think or what things around me be, may be making me think? Okay. Or should I allow and continue this journey that I'm on to continue reaching my fullest state of evolution and empowerment in order so that I may see my true gifts and powers and self flourish now and in the future. See this devil card in the 10 of swords may be other forces, other energies, other people, perhaps interfering in your current life or situation that the choice would be to accept or to believe what these energies may be wanting you to believe. Hey, maybe that you're on the wrong path or you're not with the right person. If you're with someone, or that you shouldn't right continue this evolutionary journey because it's easier to be on your own or it's easier to be uh, you know off this journey that's heading towards your sole purpose okay and so you may say well it might be just easier to end it all but on the outskirts here I see too that there's someone here very strong that's helping and loving you in a way that's allowing you to feel fully empowered and more confident overall, even if it may not seem like that in this moment, overall helping you to feel more confident, more empowered. And I know you can feel that deep inside. If you look deep inside about the influence that this person's had on you, 
that you know that it's resulting in good, positive growth, empowerment, and literally bringing out more of your powers for and to the world and for yourself as well. Nine of Cups, Four of Pentacles, Seven of Swords here. You know, one thing you might be facing as well, it's like you don't want to be kept. It's almost like you don't want to be kept for someone exclusively or you want you don't want to be kind of suffocated, right? That's what the feeling I'm getting here, right? It's like you might have a deep feeling that in love or romance, if it were to progress, that it would be very suffocating or it would steal from you or it would deceive you or it would not be what it promised itself to be, okay? And this is a very sensitive area because that, that might be a very deep subconscious belief that if I'm able to speak out, you'd be able to address and to release if you don't want it to be there anymore, right? If you do want to engage in true love and your destiny and evolution, you can release this belief here and now through the power of unconditional love. Um, but this might just be something that's coming up is, hey, if I allow myself to fully engage in romance or love or relationship, whatever it is that applies to you fully and even more deeply, that might become all encompassing or this person might be overly possessive or this person might try to keep me in a way that is just for them right and stealing from me and it doesn't allow me the freedom to act and be who i really want to be that might be a fear or belief that's coming up let's see what spirit has to say about that and whether or not that's true ace of wands eight of pentacles and the world card and what i see here is that this has all been and is a lesson to balance out love and relationship if that's your journey and or emotional okay feeling emotionally fulfilled inside with your purpose and your passion okay so just knowing and having that realization that i can allow myself to engage in love or relationship now and in the future if and so that I can balance out having my own sense of purpose and passion and mission in this world, okay, to serve a greater purpose and or to feel fulfilled in myself and or to impact others and possibly even to make money as well through that, okay. So part of you may be screaming, wow, oh my gosh, I'd like if that's possible, that would be the dream, right? Well, that is possible. <laughs> I am living proof that that's possible. Um, and it's been my journey as well, which is why I'm, I'm able to channel this uh, for you, Scorpios. Is, you know, it is possible to have true love and relationship and also have your own journey, your own business, your own passion, your own life, right, alongside it. In fact, your life should never become fully about the other. It should become about them so long as it's already become about you enough so that you can feel fulfilled in that way. And I did grab clarity here on the Seven of Wands, Hermit card, Page of Swords, and the Three of Pentacles. So, yes, I see like fighting, okay? Fighting, fighting to, fighting to feel like you are contributing, okay, in a substantial way to a situation that is in alignment with you and also feels good, right? And feels like it's enough for the people around you. And again, there's that fear of not being able to be that, not being able to do that. That if you want, you can go ahead and let go of now because you are already enough just the way you are, Scorpio. Just who you are and what you are, you are already enough. There's no need to change that. There's no need to modify that. And um, if you want to continue growing and evolving, I mean, you, that will happen naturally. It's There's no need to speed it up or change anything. Um, but my recommendation is keep going. Keep going on the journey. Don't leave it behind. Don't change it. Just keep going on the journey that you're on now. And it will lead to everything you've ever wanted, including a balanced life, relationship, love, and business, purpose, passion, and life, individual life that you have, um, which is possibly the dream come true for you. 
Scorpio, that is your mid-August update. There will be an extended reading and a preview at the end of this video. This will be your person's perspective on you and the situation. So stay tuned for that. Um, if you want to work with me, I do personal readings, live one-on-one -on -one sessions, and coaching containers. You can find all of that at brandontobias.com. Finally, if you want to join the Soul Family, be sure to hit that subscribe button, uh, and we'd love to have you. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this content. It really helps the video to shine and find more people. And finally, hit that bell button so you can be notified every time we go live, which is almost every Sunday at 1 p.m. PST, which is a lot of fun. Thanks so much for watching again, Scorpio. I'll see you in the extended. Bye for now. You know, they, they have this feeling that they're needing to contribute back to the world right now that the world has a greater need for their skills, their emotions, their talents, their work and their effort, uh, maybe even than their connection with, with you and or this relationship. This doesn't mean that they don't value you. Okay, It doesn't mean that they don't see you as important in their lives. Right? If you're in a divine counterpart or a twin flame connection, you empower the other to work even harder to find new opportunities and to fight in a good way. Okay, To fight in a good way um <clears throat> for both of you to prosper when that part of you dies off there will be more passion than you know what to do with between you two and that may take time of course but it will allow you guys to move forward energetically in your life paths together